How's it going everybody? Driver53 here and today we're going to be taking a look at how to create a cross-platform multiplayer game from the PC or a console perspective. I've been having a lot of fun participating in multiplayer games here for Farming Simulator 22. I really think you guys are too. Let me know down in the comments below, do you plan on starting or joining a multiplayer farm? At any time throughout the video, you can hit the like button. You can also hit the subscribe and notification button. That way you're notified whenever I make new Farming Simulator 22 content here. We do a lot of tutorials, do a lot of gameplays. We even do some live streams. This video is going to be split into two sections. The first section here is going to be covering how to do this on the PC. The second section is going to be how to do it from the console. So if you're interested in how to do it on a console, I've got some timestamps down below. Go ahead and head over there right now. Here we are on the home screen. As you can see, I've got multiplayer selected. I'm gonna go ahead and go in here. Now, for the PC, we have three different ways to be able to play multiplayer. The first one, you can join a game. Second one, you can create a game. Or third, you can rent a dedicated server. We are not gonna be looking at how to rent a dedicated server today. That is gonna be in a future video once I understand it a lot better. I've been a console player all the way up until the launch of 22 here, so I'm not very familiar with that. I'm gonna study this, understand it, and then we'll come out with a video for you guys. The first thing we're going to look at is how to create a game. So we're going to select it. And this is an important step right here because if I go into a brand new game save that doesn't have any data in it, I can only choose from farm manager or start from scratch. This right here, I just want to say be careful because you're not going to have a farmhouse on the base game maps if you start in either one of these. Now, if we start getting some other maps down the road, once modders start releasing those, then absolutely you could have that in these two uh, different modes of play right here so if you want your house there's going to be a different way that we're going to have to do that but we're going to look at that here in a minute so what i'm going to do now is go ahead and select farm manager next i'm going to select the map we're just going to pick elm creek after that you're going to need to select which mod you want i'm on the pc right now so i have some pc only mods as you can see my helmet up there in the top right hand corner so what i need to do is select cross play mods only because my intention here is to be able to have a console xbox or playstation join my game even though i'm starting it here on the pc once i select to only show the cross play mods as you can see now it's reduced the number of mods i have and another word of caution here is if you have any third party mods or mods that you got directly from someone else those things are still going to need to be deselected so my helmet here i've got some other mods here that i need to go ahead and get rid of because they are not available on mod hub only the mod hub mods are going to be able to be used by your console players so if you have any pc mods still on here that is only pc because it came from a third party site or it's available only on the pc section of mod hub it's not going to be able to uh, be used and well i mean it can be used but your console players are not going to be able to join you so now i've got all my mods here i'm going to go ahead and hit x and continue the next thing I can do here is select a game name. I'm just going to leave it as driver's game. I can put a password on here if I'd like to. On the fourth row here, you can see allow crossplay. You can have that off or on. The goal of this is to be able to have console players play with us. So yes, we are going to turn this on. Internet connection, this is what I'm on right now. And then I'm going to leave this on off. For max players, I can choose anywhere from 2 to 16. We're going to leave it at 16 because I like to have a lot of people join me. Auto accept. I like to turn this off, and the reason is that way I get to see who is joining. Now, if you just want to start a farm and let anybody join you at all, turn that on. But me, I like to know exactly who's joining in. I usually coordinate everything through Discord, and that way I can see exactly what their names are going to be whenever they pop in. That way, boom, I know that we're good to go, and I'm not going to have maybe potentially a random person come in and start destroying my farms. Now we're going to hit start. And just like with a normal game save, you need to select your outfit. Once you're good to go, you're going to hit confirm. And then it's going to put you right here in the middle of the map. First thing I want to do is go into my options. I'm going to need to create a farm. I can't do anything with vehicles or equipment or anything until I actually create a brand new farm. So we're going to come here. I'm going to select the first color. There we go. If you want to create another farm, all you need to do, create a farm and just keep doing that all the way across. You're going to be able to have a maximum of eight farms. Once you created however many farms you want, you're going to need to actually join that farm. So you're going to hit X. As you can see now, my name is under that farm. So what I do now is I can come down here and I can see that I am a part of my farm, the yellow farm. When you have a player that wants to join your game, you are going to get a notification like this if you have the auto accept turned off. So I'm going to go ahead and hit accept right here. Once that new player gets into the game, you can see they are going to be present down at the bottom under no farm. So what they're going to need to do is actually select a farm and then you're going to be able to give them some permissions. Now that our second player has joined in, what I can do is I can actually promote them to farm manager. I can also kick, block, report, or mute. 
If you're going to use the in-game chat, do not mute them, but if you're going to communicate through another means like Discord or something like that, you might want to go ahead and mute them because their voice is going to come through in your gameplay. You can also give players individual permissions, as in buying vehicles, selling vehicles, if you want them to be able to buy placeables or sell the placeables, if you want them to be able to only hire AI workers. However you want to configure this, that is up to you. If you have a player on a different farm, you are going to be able to promote them to farm manager. What that does, that gives them access to everything on your farm. If you don't want them to have access to anything on your farm, I would not turn anything on here at all. But if you want them to come over and actually work on your farm, you can have them be able to reset vehicles. You can have them hire AI workers, manage contracts, create fields, maybe landscaping, things like that. Whatever you want to do for, to allow that person to be able to work on your farm, the same thing you would before, but here you can actually promote the person from Farm Manager. Now, you are only able to do this if you are the one hosting the game. One more really quick thing about your farms, you can edit the information that you see on your farm. So you can change the farm name and you can't even put a password on it to protect your farm or any other farm that you want to. And I would do this mainly if you're going to um, open the play up to some people that you haven't played before and you just want to see how they're going to react. Go ahead, come here, protect your farm. And you can also change your farm color if you don't have all of them selected. If you have all eight farms already built, then you are not going to be able to change your farm color here. And I like to finish this off just by saying that if you start with Farm Manager or start from scratch, you are not going to be able to have the house here. How do you start a game but still have your house? Well, let's go take a look at that. What you're going to need to do is create a game using a existing game save. Now, you're going to need to do this in single player mode. You come in, you start the game, get all the way through there, you immediately save it, exit back out. That way, so everything is there and you've got like, you know, just a minute or two minutes of gameplay on it. If I want to use this one, one that I've already been playing on, but still do a cross platform, I totally can. So I'm going to go ahead and select this one right here. I've got my mods. We're going to leave them as they are. We're going to hit continue, and once again, when I'm at this screen right here, I can set this all the way up from anywhere between 2 and 16 players, the exact same as I did the other one. Now, the only difference whenever I go in this way is my character's already going to be created. I don't need to create a new character, but everybody else that comes into the game will need to. Now, we're going to take a look at how to create a game on console. I'm going to select multiplayer right here, and as you can see, we only have two options. This is going to be join game or create a game. I'm going to want to create a game, but we have been told in the past that we could rent servers as a console player. I do not see it from this screen right here. There might be another way that we could do it on a back end, but I think you're going to need a PC. I'm not going to go ahead and take a look at that right now because I don't know the exact details of that. I've got to research a little bit more. I just wanted to go ahead and show you the guys how to do this right now. So let's jump in here. Let's create a game. As you can see, we have two options. We have a game save number one, which is an existing game, or we have empty slot, which is a fresh game save. So I'm going to go ahead and go here. As you can see, we only have farm manager and start from scratch. I'm going to give you a warning that if you start from either one of these, at least on the base maps, you're not going to have your house. If having a sleep trigger is important to you, you're going to need to make sure you do it through a new farmer game save that is existing. I'm going to show you how to do that here in a little bit. But what we're going to do right now, we're going to go ahead and jump in and select farm manager. We're also going to select our map here as Elm Creek. Next, we need to select our mods. As you can see, we only have mods that are available on Mod Hub. If you're a PC player that's looking at this right here, there is a little bit of a difference whenever you set up a game. I've got a timestamp down below. Jump back over to the PC version of this and you'll be able to see exactly how you do it from your side. We're going to go ahead and start the game with all these mods, so I need to just hit X. This is another area where it differs from PC to console. First thing you can do is give your game a name. Then you can come down here and set it a password. Next, you need to decide if you want to do crossplay. In this example here, we do want to do crossplay because we want to play with maybe an Xbox player and a PC player. So next, we're going to come down to max players. This is where it varies between PC and console. On the PC, I can select all the way up to 16 players, but on console, I can only do six. And that's because my machine is actually hosting this game. If you want to have a cross-platform game where there's more than six players, you're going to need to set up the game through a PC. Now, that doesn't have to be you. You can have a friend that owns a PC, be able to set it up for you, and then you just join the game. We're going to be looking at that in a later video. Next is going to be auto-accept. I have this turned off because I don't want just anybody being able to come into my game. I like to be able to know exactly who's coming into my game, and then that's going to allow me to approve them. Last here, you can see allow only friends. I'm going to leave this turned off because I don't want only my friends in here. I want maybe anybody to be able to join into this game that I approve. And I do a lot of that screening through my Discord. So now we're just going to hit start. 
The first thing you're going to need to do whenever you get into the game is select your wardrobe. I'm going to go with a standard driver outfit right here. We're going to hit confirm and now we are in the game. And the first thing we need to do is actually create a farm. We're going to come over here to the farms menu. As you can see, it says create a farm. So we're going to go, yes, create a farm. Now I can create all the way up to eight farms. I've created six farms here because I have six players that are going to be able to join me. One thing that I'd like to point out really quick, you can edit this farm. You can give it a name. You can also give it a password if you would like, and you can also change the farm color. It is going to change the icon also. Those two are linked together. After doing that, I need to come down here to farm management. As you can see, I am the only one in the game. Whenever a new player wants to join your game and you have the auto accept turned off, you are going to get a message like this. I know who this person is. I'm going to hit accept. And the first thing both of us need to do is actually select a farm. Both of us have joined the same farm. One thing that I'd like to point out really quickly is that if you're going to use the in-game chat to be able to communicate with all your players, you need to make sure that you are not muted. If you have another way of communicating with all your players, say Discord or something like that, I would come in here and I would mute all of your different players that are going to be on your farm. As you can see, you can also promote to farm manager, which means that they are allowed to do the exact same things that you are to the farm. They can do anything on this farm at all. If you need to kick, block, or report them, you can do that also. And then over here on the side, you can see that you can give them very specific permissions. Instead of giving them control over your entire farm, you can maybe let them be able to buy vehicles or sell vehicles, or maybe just reset the vehicle if they get stuck. You can also let them hire the AI workers or manage contracts. Now, what if you have a player that wants to join a different farm? What you're going to be able to do is do the exact same thing. You can promote them to farm manager, which means they're basically a contractor for you and they can do anything for your farm, or you can give them specific permissions. That way they can have their own farm and do their own thing and they could just maybe help you out well, that's how you create a new game with Start From Scratch or Farm Manager, but be careful, you are not gonna have a house. So if having a point that you can sleep at is important to you, you're gonna need to do it through New Farmer. Let me go ahead and show you how to do that. What you're gonna need to do is create a game, and then you want to select an existing game save. Now, this one I already have some time on, but if I wanted to start fresh, I would just start a brand new game save in single player mode, and then get in there, save it really quickly, come out, and then use that game save here on my brand new fresh multiplayer. Since I don't have one of those right now, we're gonna use this one. We're gonna keep the mods the way they are. Go ahead and hit continue. Now here, you can see this screen is exactly the same way as it was before. You're gonna be able to select up to six players, you're gonna be able to have auto accept on or off, and you can even put a password on this if you would like to. Well, that's gonna be it for today, everybody. If you enjoyed the video, go and give me a thumbs up if you would. If you wanna be kept up to date on all my future videos here for Farming Simulator 22, including how to join a cross-platform multiplayer game, consider hitting that subscribe button. And if you do, hit the notification bell too. Have a great day, night, evening, everybody. Until next time, this is Driver53, signing off.